Nothing. Nothing. Continuity. Was. No. So, without the plunger in Janus, which is that thing, is it? Middle terminal and what I call the third terminal, <coughs> excuse me, there's continuity. I mean, there's an electronic circuit between them. Now, <coughs> excuse my froggy throat. Now, if I get the plunger, this plunger to stay in, this bloody mask can take the whole thing. That should change the circuit. We've got no continuity now on, let's call them terminal two and three. But on terminal one and three, no. Terminal one and two, well, when you see the multimeter is moving, it's just not beeping. But there is continuity between one and two. That is because I've created the, I've pushed the plunger in to create the circuit. This terminal here is the com. In other words, it tells the motor to go forwards or backwards, depending on which of the blue and white wires is soldered to it. There's a my Senko. Um, how it is actually in the projector is you know, the tape off. Is actually this way. The selector lever and my one is already in it. Your plunger lever is attached to the same thing. As I put my projector in forward motion, that pushes in. And the switch will be the opposite way around, although it looks the same actually because it's just the opposite of the switch. Now, in this purpose, let's do this. Put the set front selector knob in reverse or rewind. It pushes that in and makes the motor go rewind. Now, my Senko, there's another switch. That one, there's two of these, one facing each other that way and the plunger facing each other. On top of this one on the left hand side as you look from behind, there's another switch like this, but a stronger ampage one which has the yellow and red wires going to and a brown wire for negative. Its yellow is the com wire and that turns the lamp off when you put the lamp, it pushes in its plunger when you put the selector knob to lamp position. Hope this helps as you can follow it. Have fun.